Welcome to another RPG in a Box Basics video. In this video, we're going to talk about the camera controls for the map editor. So you're at the map editor and you want to know how to navigate around the map with the camera. So there are multiple different uh, camera modes that you can put the map editor into. And each mode has a different set of controls uh, for navigating the camera. So the first thing I'll point you at is the documentation. If you click the documentation tab, and if you click map editor, double click it to open it up. If you scroll down, it will show you all of the controls for all of the different camera um, presets that you can use. So we'll go through some of these now. So the default camera is the one that you'll see when you first open your project. So in order to rotate the camera, you would click and hold the middle mouse button and then move the mouse from left to right, and that will spin the camera around. Now, it's important to mention this right from the beginning, that the map editor in RPG in a Box heavily uses the middle mouse button. So if you're using a mouse that doesn't have a middle mouse button, then uh, you either need to find one that has, if you can you know, source one that has a middle mouse button, or you're going to need to find some sort of uh, software that can emulate uh, the middle mouse functionality because uh, right from the beginning it's important to note that the map editor uses the middle mouse button and you can't change that so you are going to need to have a middle mouse capable uh, mouse <laughs> um, in order to really make the most use of uh, the map editor in RPG in a box so we must mention that from the, from the beginning so if you've got that in place then the default camera is spun around by holding down the middle mouse and just moving it um, from left to right. If you want to just move the camera without rotating it, if we go back to the documentation, you can see that it's done with the shift key. So if we go to the map editor, we hold down the shift key and then also click and hold the middle mouse button. When we move now, you can actually move the camera around without spinning it around. So that's the combination of shift and middle mouse to, to move it whereas just middle mouse will spin it, okay? Now, you can also do this with the uh, keyboard. If you hold down the control key and use the forward and back arrows, it will zoom in and out. If you use the left and right arrows while holding the control key, it will spin in that direction, okay? You can also use the middle mouse wheel, scroll wheel to zoom in and out, okay? So those are your controls for the default camera, okay? So middle mouse and moving it will spin the camera. Shift middle mouse and moving it will pan the camera. Scroll wheel will zoom in and out. Or you can hold down the control key and the arrow keys up and down will zoom in and out. And the left and right will rotate, okay? The next camera we have is my personal favorite. It's the one I use is the free camera. You can toggle that at any point by pressing the F key, or you can click this button here. And this will essentially make your camera act like a first person shooter in the sense that if you hold the middle mouse button down, you can uh, essentially orbit the camera so that it will sort of attach the camera to the mouse cursor. So you can see as I spin the cursor, so too does the camera look where the cursor is. So it's kind of like the eyes of the person and then the WASD keys will move you forward, back, left, and right. So you can combine them. So I'm, if I hold down the middle mouse button and hold down the WASD keys, I can basically fly wherever I want and spin the camera as I do so, which just gives me that much more um, immediate control over where I'm looking, both in terms of closeness to the object, but also rotation of it. So I can for example, strafe around the player character and see it from all different angles. So that's the uh, free move camera and how and how the controls are for that. So it's middle mouse button to basically attach the camera to the cursor. And then as soon as you let go of the middle mouse button, it stops moving with the cursor. And then the WASD keys to basically forward, back, strafe left, strafe right. And then the combination of the two gives you a sort of fly around type motion, okay? Next, we have the ISO camera, isometric camera. 
The controls for this are almost identical to the default camera. So middle mouse button and then moving it will spin the camera around. Shift key and middle mouse button will drag the camera. And then just like the uh, default camera as well, the scroll wheel will zoom in and out. And the control key and up and down will zoom in and out. And control key and the left and right arrows will spin. Okay. Next, we have the top-down camera. This is only has two controls, scroll wheel to zoom in and out, and then shift and middle click, and then move the mouse to move it. Okay, so that's shift, and then hold middle mouse, hold, hold both of them, and then just move the mouse to pan it round. And then the last one we have is the first person camera. Now, when you click this, it will say, that a single tile must be selected before switching to first person. It's so that it knows where to put you in first person. So what we'll do is we'll switch back to the default camera. We'll just click a tile with the select, make sure that the um, select tool is enabled, the edit tool. So if you're on tile place mode, just click edit first. Let's say we click this tile here, and now we can click the first person button and it will put us on that tile. And then the controls for first person are um, holding down the middle mouse button will attach the camera to the mouse. It's very much like the free move mode, but you can also uh, let go of the mouse and just use the W, uh, S keys to move forward and back. And A and D will spin you round. So you can walk completely round with W, A, and then S to go backwards, D to go the other way. So that's how you will navigate the map. And then if you want to strafe, it's Q and E. I should also mention, in, if we go back to free move again, that as well as um, the WASD keys and the middle mouse, I forgot to mention Q and E will lower you and raise you respectively. So Q will go down, E will go up. So WASD to fly around as you, as you um, use the middle mouse button to orbit the camera and then Q and E to go up and down the camera as well. And those are the controls and the different modes for the map editor.